Welcome to Brian Hurd Auto Sport. This is our shop in Brownsburg, Indiana, and this is where all the real magic happens. This is the secret sauce between the races where the cars are prepped and made ready to go to the racetrack. Uh, so when the cars come back, they're loaded into their bays here, and we start the process of disassembly. We start looking at parts. We, we really thoroughly check everything out. And, and when you're doing this, that's when you find mistakes, problems, issues with the cars that we need to correct for the next race. So it's a really important process. And it's especially important this week because we're getting ready to go to race for a championship. That's Michael Lewis. Eversley right down the center of the track. Race one at Portland. Pretty nerve-wracking race. I mean, for I think the team, especially us drivers, uh, Ryan Eversley was really holding his pace well. And uh, Portland is kind of a short track, you know, for us on, on the schedule in that there might be a little bit of contact here and there, very tight corners. After seeing my teammate Mark Wilkins dive inside of uh, Ryan in traffic, I saw okay an opportunity for that to happen. Lewis looks to oh, the inside. What a move! What a move by Michael Lewis. The Hyundais now run one, two. When Michael got to my bumper, he made a, I would call it a pretty low percentage move into one of the hairpins there, and we had contact, and I was pretty disappointed with how that ended. Kind of ruffled his feathers, and we ended up with a one, two for Hyundai in, in a really dramatic fashion with only a couple laps left in the race. We went first and second with a great race on Saturday, but we had a fuel pump fail on Mark's car on Sunday, and Eversley beat us with his Honda on, uh, on Sunday over Lewis, it was really important going to Utah that we reestablish ourselves as the top dog. Behind me here we have this uh, pretty sweet Velociren and it's a privilege uh, to be able to be one of the first few people to actually get to drive the car. The, uh, the company has you know, put this Velocir N uh, car through its paces on the Nürburgring racetrack, which is a very intense, high speed and, and technical track. I've been racing the i30N all season long, and I can already see uh, a lot of elements from this car uh, that are on the i30N. We see here this really large rear wing and a large rear diffuser in the back. Uh, in addition, on the front, we have a large uh, front splitter that really sticks out and 13 inch front brakes that really help us stop once we get through the corner. So it's, uh, it's gonna be a pleasure to drive this car and uh, feel it out. So this facility is so impressive. I mean, we're, we're, we're out here on this, this wide track and this Veloster N is really gripping. Just straight cruising at 120 miles an hour. I mean, the car is so stable. All right, here we are in a third gear corner. I'm just gonna lift here and we're gonna accelerate out of this turn. We're gonna watch our shift lights just like the race car I drive. And then we're gonna downshift here and listen to the automatic rev matching that this Veloster N has just like the i30 N TCR I drive on the weekends. Driving a few laps here, you know, it's, it's really, really impressive to feel the striking similarities in this Veloster N to the race car that I have. I mean, we're in this corner right now. I feel the, the positive steering and, and I'm so impressed with the engineering that, that went on at the Nürburgring, you know, and I'm really feeling it right now because it's, uh, it's such a fun car to drive. This is such a pleasure. Love it. Utah was a fantastic weekend for Brian Hurd Autosport and our Hyundai i30N. We basically had a dominant one-two. It was really necessary for us to you know, go in to the last weekend with enough points to try to clinch the championship for the driver side of things. So Utah was, uh, was crucial for us to succeed. Michael Lewis onto the front straight, and again a Hyundai one-two. So I headed to Watkins Glen, and we're racing for three championships. Uh, we're leading the manufacturer's championship with Hyundai. We're leading the team championship and we're second in the driver's championship with Michael. But if we want to get all three, if we want to win the driver championship too, we have to be perfect. That means we've got to put Michael and Mark ahead of Eversley and his Honda in both races. So this, this uh, month is uh, National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and Hyundai 
on wheels um, is on our car. It's a little bit of a new livery this weekend at Watkins Glen. Wonderful initi initiative that uh, Hyundai's started in, uh, in 1998. So 20 years, they've raised $145 million, 15 million alone in 2018 towards grants for uh, cancer research for, uh, for pediatric cancer. So just a, a wonderful, wonderful initiative. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it hits home for me because uh, I lost my, <laughs> my dad to cancer. So it's uh, just an honor to, to drive the car with it on the hood. We had, uh, you know, Ryan Eversley, um, you know, starting on pole position. I was in third place behind my teammate Mark Wilkins. And when the green flag flew, I had like a checklist of things to, to accomplish. Lewis has to make something happen. He's got to get around Eversley. Basically get up to second place. Uh, and the second item on that checklist was to set the fastest lap. That gets us a point, so we did that. And the third checklist, you know, item on that checklist was to win the race. There were many times where Ryan and I were on top of each other, nearly bumping, and um, we always were really clean. Came up along the outside of Eversley before, now looks to the inside. Eversley covered that. Working him over. Uh, he was very clean and very aggressive, but I tell you, the last three laps were probably the toughest three laps I've ever had. Lewis sneaks to the inside. Does he get along? No. Can't get that position. Can't get alongside him into the break zones. He's kept it clean so far. Just a couple of corners to go. What will he do here? Will he flick back to the inside? Can't do it. Too close almost to make that move. And Honda wins. Ryan Eversley opens the points margin up by a couple more points under immense pressure from Michael Lewis in the Hyundai. Wilkins will be fourth. Lewis, what a start. He has gapped everyone by about three to four car lengths as they hit the brakes for the inner loop for the first time. We got a really good start. Uh, planned that out really well. Uh, you know, got a little bit of a jump. Um, and then just coming out of like turn number six, seven, uh, an issue with the turbo happened. We seem to have an intercooler charge pipe issue. Basically, the pipe blew off somehow. Figured out the issue, got it fixed, and got him out without missing a lap. Looks like you're going to have a fun race now. Pretty sure you went for the back of the front before, so let's do it again. He is on the move and now coming up and closing in the back of the number 72. Honestly, I have no idea how many cars I passed. I know it's a lot. I passed a lot of cars. Uh, you know, it's really good that they're all packed up on, on the yellow flag so you can just drive right around them. Lewis has caught this little pack here. Yes. So you can see third position up ahead of him. He's got fifth right in front of him, Jeremy Daniel. We heard about Mark. Um, blood pressure was high. So 99 and Wilkins were getting the report. Wilkins is just limping his way down into the pits. Tough weekend. It's racing. There's always a lot of adversity. We got it on the last weekend uh, this year. A fantastic season. Manufacturer's Championship for Hyundai, Team Championship for Brian Herta Autosport in the first year against a team like Real Time, who's run touring cars for 20 plus years. I'd say it was a great season, but we had we have so many things that we can be proud of this year, starting from our sweep of the first weekend and, and carrying podiums and wins throughout the entire season. Once we figured out that these cars were phenomenal, it was to bring home some, some trophies, some championships, and what we did is we accomplished it today at Watkins Glen. We, we couldn't be happier as a manufacturer supporting such a great team like Brian Herta Autosport. The great thing about winning is it's not like when you eat and you get full. Winning is the opposite. When you win, you want more, and you want more. And the more you win, the more you want to win more. Great team, great organization. Look forward to doing it more and uh, keeping the Hyundais at the top of the podium.